One Sunday morning in church recently, my son asked me a question. This wasn't the normal kind of question that kids usually ask you. It wasn't the normal exchange of parent-child things that normally goes on. Do I have to go to school? Yes. Can we get a lizard? No. Can we get a puppy? We'll see. Which, of course, is a way of beating around the bush and usually means no. The question he asked was one of those that didn't have like this immediate yes, no, whatever question. The question he asked was... Dad, why are you wearing your Bible even though you have your Bible on my back? What made his question all the more perplexing was the fact that I had personally been struggling with that very concept of the Bible on the iPad versus the Bible on the uh, in, in the real form, in the paper form. As you can see, I have a full list of different Bibles, different translations, and uh, I can pick from any of those and I can compare and contrast. And I had been struggling recently with the idea of carrying around my paper Bible when I have so many resources on my iPad. In the months previous to my son's question, I had been struggling with this issue of the paper copy of the version versus an electronic version. I had been you know, carrying my two versions around like this together. They make a neat package. And it made me think, what, what really made me think about this was our uh, theologically confused and doctrinally questionable pastor from Southern Florida who decided he wanted to burn a Koran. I put myself in the place of those people who would be offended by the burning of the Koran. I said, you know, how would I feel if somebody burnt a Bible, a paper copy of the Bible? So you can go on the internet and you can search Bible burning and, and you will stumble across a video eventually of one fine young gentleman burning not only a Bible but a Book of Mormon and a Koran, all three in a nice little pile. Now I don't think this is a good idea of course, I don't like the idea and I, I was a little angered by somebody burning the Bible but I had to back up and think, you know, this is a paper copy version of the Bible. This is a paper copy that did not exist before its printing and construction the message it contains therein is the Word of God. So does it matter to me if somebody burns this? Now, I will say it made me angry. I will say that. But at one point this did not exist. And at one point this did not exist. But the Word of God, the message of God has existed and has been carried down through the centuries and delivered to us neatly in a package. The Word of God is the message contained there within. My question for you is not whether Bible burning or Koran burning is right or wrong. I don't want to get hung up on that. My question to you is how do you feel about electronic Bibles? How do you feel about reverting from the paper copy of the Bible to the electronic version of the Bible, either on an iPhone or an iPad? That's what I want to hear from you. Down in the comments below, or you can post a video response to this, let me know your thoughts on that. I, you know, I'm not saying I have switched over. I still carry the two neatly together, and I haven't made the transition. But it's something I'm thinking about. My final question for you is this, and this is, this is a serious question. How do you clean your iOS device? You know, we have all these devices, and you get them up against you, and you get your fingers on them, and you get all this smudgy stuff on it. How do you clean it? You know, you have the armpit wipe, and you have the leg pant wipe, and, you know, you can wipe it on the pew, but, man, you get to the iPad. How do you clean that thing? You know, that's just a big sucker. You got the big belly wipe. How do you do that? That's a serious stuff. We need to discuss this. And the other question is, when you go from horizontal to vertical mode, what is your preferred placement for the button? Is it on the right? Or is it on the left? You tell me. I, I, I'm, I'm a right side person. I have to have the button over on the right side. But I'm just wondering what works for you. You know, it's these serious things we have to talk about. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless. Hey, I don't mean to be rude. We're uh, shooting a video here and you're kind of in my shot. Oh, sorry. Thanks.